I'm Sharon Diskin, and this is Keith Berger, and we are the Chameleon's Mime Theater. We are performing artists and teaching artists. Today we're going to explore the magical art of mime. This video is part of the Kennedy Center Education's online collection, Teaching Artists Present, where teaching artists from around the country share arts activities that you can do right at home. So buckle up! Here we go! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the tug of war! Thank you. So how did we do that? How did we make it look like we were pulling a real rope? Well, mime is the art of telling stories using our bodies, our hands, and our faces, and not a lot of words. Sometimes we use sound effects, sometimes music, sometimes even words, but mainly we try to find ways of going beyond the spoken word to tell our stories. Pantomime is the skill of creating invisible objects in space, like the invisible rope that you just saw. So let's learn the invisible rope and the tug of war. Now you can do this standing or sitting, it doesn't matter, as long as you have enough space around you so that you don't knock into any furniture. Okay, let's start by warming up our hands. Show me an open hand and we're going to bend each finger down separately at a time, starting with our pinky. One, two, three, four, five. Take a hike. One, two, three, four, and five. Shake it out. Good. Let's do the other hand. This time let's do it in Spanish. You count with me. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Adios. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, y cinco. Muévalo. Muy bien. Okay, so our hands and fingers are warmed up. Grab a point. Let go of that point. Grab the point again. Let go. Grab the point. Keep that point in that same spot. And now we're going to grab another point. We have our two hands on the rope. So now slowly pull the rope past your body in a straight line going all the way back. Good. And freeze and then release the back hand, grab it in front, release the other hand, grab it in front, and pull again. And this time show me tension. That's the strength in your muscles to make it look like it's hard to pull. And freeze, release, grab, release, grab, and now pull even harder. Imagine someone's pulling against you on the other end. Show me the resistance. And now they're going to start pulling you. Your hands get pulled first, followed by your arms, followed by your shoulders, followed by your torso, and you pull them. Show me that tension. And they're going to pull you, making you really mad because we use emotion in mime and we express that emotion a lot of the times on our faces and that helps us to tell our stories and now you pull them and now you and I are going to have a tug of war. So stretch your hands toward me. Good. I'm going to start with my hands back and when I say pull, slowly start pulling the rope. Ready? Pull. And freeze, really good, and now I'm going to pull you. 
and freeze and now you pull me, making me really mad. And now I'm gonna pull you, making you really mad. And now when I say one, two, three, pull, I want you to yank it really fast. Ready? One, two, three, pull! Whoa! I guess you won the tug of war, but really good job. Okay, so now that you've learned the invisible rope and the tug of war, Mr. Keith is going to teach you a narration mime about a very heavy object. Narration mime dates back to the ancient Romans. In those days, they called it il pantomimi. And what that meant was that there were mime actors on stage doing all the action, and they had these people off stage who would shout out the story or the narration. We are about to do a narration mime called The Heavy Suitcase. And this involves a pantomime of weight and a journey through settings. You can do this either sitting down or standing up. Are you ready? Let's go. Make the sound effects with me. <laughs> Grab your heavy suitcase and try to move it. <clears throat> This suitcase is so heavy it doesn't go anywhere. This is called a fixed point in space where your hand doesn't move, but your body moves around it. Use two hands. There's just one solution. We have to get rid of a couple of the bricks. Open your heavy suitcase. Take out a brick. Never throw a brick over your shoulder. You could hurt somebody. This time we're going to be a lot more careful. Take out another brick. Ah, 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 ah. Close the suitcase. Mm. The suitcase is two bricks lighter. We're walking. Do the mime walk in place. Or if you're sitting, just move your arm like this and it's getting very hot. What is the setting? If you said the desert, you were correct. And we come to all these trees, and it's really thick with thwack. No, I'm just saying it's thwack. It's, it's very thick with thwack. Uh, and it starts raining. Shh, what's the setting? If you said rainforest, you were correct. Okay, and then... Spider monkey? Uh, spider monkey, please, uh, uh, that, no, uh, uh, no, no, what, what, no, 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 goodbye, spider monkey, grab your heavy suitcase, and we're walking out of the rainforest, and there's our train, and it's leaving without us. And we get to the train just on time, and we have to put our suitcase in the overhead luggage. Show the weight. <coughs> Ow. Well, now that you've learned some mime, try doing the heavy suitcase and the tug of war for someone in your family. I know it'll be great. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll explore other videos from the Kennedy Center Teaching Artist Present collection. Thanks for watching.